Okay. The Tomic says to go good day. <laughs> or I should say good evening. <laughs> um, yeah, it's after 5 o'clock and the sun has gone down in southern Alberta. Uh, but my day is still rolling. Um, I've had a pretty busy day actually. Did my I've been training just about every morning for a couple hours martial arts with a new student uh, that I told you talked about in the previous video there. And then um, and then this afternoon I had to uh, go teach my Friday class at the Lethbridge College. And now I'm off uh, setting up traps. I've got two cases that I'm getting set up tonight. One of them is here and it's a muskrat. It's either in this pond or the adjacent neighboring pond. So I'm just out here right now kind of looking for the sign indicators um, that he's around and feeding in a particular area because I'm going to set up the trap, you know. Um, getting to be late to be moving muskrats, you know. The water's almost iced over in some of these places. And, but I don't know what, what else to do. She's, the client here has set up a new uh, water system, whatever they call the aeration system. And she's been advised that the muskrats are gonna chew, chew her hoses and that kind of thing and to get them out of here. So we're gonna catch a muskrat. Um, and then I gotta go, by, the, by that time it's gonna be dark. I might as well not even show it. <laughs> I gotta go to the extreme other side of town uh, to set up a skunk trap for the city. There's a family of skunks living under one of the city's facilities. Um, in general, the wildlife work has been very quiet still. I did go out one more day into, you know, look for the sign of the badger um, that I had tried to trap the other day or the other weekend, I should say. And so I went around Heritage neighborhood yesterday, uh, check in further onto the green strips and out toward the coolies a bit. And well, I'll show you what I found. Uh, I'm just outside the neighborhood where I did that badger trapping or, or tried to trap the badger. And uh, this is another green strip that skirts that neighborhood. So I figured I'd give this a little walk see if I can find any sign just uh, hang around the neighborhood a little bit here see if I can figure out where if the badgers you know close by he might have went off you know way out into the coolies by Spopeke me it's entirely possible but if he's close I think it'd be cool to know so I'll poke around Strolling down the alleyway again, now that I have snow around to assist in uh, tracking. But so far, not seeing any indication of the badger having been moving through the alley in the last 24 hours either. Just poking around this lot by the Tim Hortons. Um, empty lot with some ground squirrel activity. The neighborhood that the badger was in is just this block over here and I figured I better come out on the lot here and look for at least any prints or anything else. Snow has been here for more than 24 hours so if the badger was here I should see some sign of it. Um, but really all I'm finding is like this. This is all ground squirrels and they're hibernating they're not out so badger's not on this lot yeah hey, just a little bit further out here in the Tim Hortons vicinity <laughs> there are more ground squirrel um, burrows lots of more ground squirrels along here 
So it's another good place to look for the badger. Just go in for a little walk around. I don't know if he would have crossed University Drive. That's pretty dangerous, but it's not impossible. We've seen it down by the university itself earlier in the summer. So it's possible he's in the fields on that side. There's some empty lots there. This is some big dig in here. Um, that's, that's badger digging right there. So he has been here, although not in the last 24 hours. And he's not down there now. Well, I can't say for sure he's not down there now, but he's one that likes to backfill, you know, when he is in, in a hole. Here's some more. These are badger size. These are not uh, ground squirrels. I mean, he probably went in, dug in after ground squirrels. But. So we'll see if I can find any of these that have it's a bunch of more diggings that I'm coming to up here too. See if any of them uh, look like they've, they're either backfilled and he's in there or that there's any evidence of him in the snow from the last 24 hours. There's another one there. Another badger hole for sure. There's a bunch coming up here. Yeah, all of this activity. <laughs> Every one of these big mounds is a uh, badger having dug out a ground squirrel burrow. So he, he's been feeding in here big time probably over the summer or whatever. Search continues. Canadian Pacific CPR yeah all out here still is lots of evidence of the badger having been here before just not finding anything new and no backfilled holes so yeah lots of evidence that the badger has been around that area in general probably all through the summer um, but whether or not he's, you know, still lingering, I don't know. I didn't find any, I didn't get any sense in the snow or anywhere else. Unless he's in somebody's backyard, my guess is he's gone out into the coolies, but he might return. Um, oh, I, I see something interesting up here. Just kind of going around this willow. There's an open pocket of water here. I don't know if you can tell, but the leaves are around that kind of open pocket. But I don't see sign of muskrat coming up and there's really nothing for him to come over this way to feed for. So let's take a walk on the other side here. Other side of the property goes, there's a pipe that goes under the culvert that goes under this driveway here <laughs> and uh, out to this other pond so I'll take a walk, stroll around here and see if there's any evidence of him I bet he's gonna be in those cattails okay so we're all set up with the muskrat trap here I'm just along the shoreline in the reeds on the side of the pond, the pond I should say that has the largest uh, strip of reeds. Uh, the other pond doesn't have 
quite as much and nearly not nearly quite as much evidence of the muskrat having feed in there either. This is also the pond that has the aeration unit that is the issue. So, um, so I'm setting up here and we'll see how it goes. I've baited it with um, pears. Grocery store was selling some pears the other day, really cheap, and I had a bunch of them. So, brought pears, got the flotilla all set up, and we'll see how it goes. We'll come back in the morning. So back home now, and I didn't bother recording the setup for the skunk trap. You'll see that in a future video, perhaps. <laughs> it's just too dark out there. Um, several of you have been wondering how Charlie's doing, so I thought I would show you Charlie. Um, Charlie had did a couple of evacuations where uh, it was mostly just the... No solids, hey, just the urine stuff. And as you see here, like I'm opening his doors and he's not very responsive. Like he's slowed way down. He's in brumation mode now, I think, you know, for the most part. Um, usually when they do that, that kind of last evacuation um, with no solids, then they're going into that mode, or at least that's what we saw from Mandy last year. And Charlie's barely been like rattling or anything at me if I'm near his enclosure. And um, yeah, he's just not all awoke. So I'm going to let him go back to his uh, ease and slumber because it's starting to bother him. See? But you see, he's just, he's having to warm up to the issue that he's got a problem where before he would have snapped to right away. <laughs> Yeah, Mahoney had a bad dream one day that one night that Charlie got out of the enclosure somehow. So I think she's concerned. <laughs> Always worried about Charlie. Um, yeah, we'll put him to sleep. But that's how Charlie's doing. Everything's well. He slowed down pretty much in brumation mode. I may or may not move him downstairs into the same kind of brumation chamber that I did with Mandy. Um, as long as he's slowing down and not using a lot of energy, he might be fine up here just with no heat pad and that kind of thing going on. Um, works for the other snakes anyway. So we'll see. We'll see on that on that ends. But yeah, Charlie's good. <laughs> 